our agenda today is going to be looking at Okta and syncing users between uh, your Okta integration with StrongDM. So we're going to see how to get that done. Uh, I did make some assumptions. One is that you've gone through our documentation, which we have over here on our website. You can just think, uh, search for Okta and group provisioning. Um, and then I've assumed that you have an Okta administrator, you have those privileges, and you've gone through and created the Skim provisioning app. Again, those steps are in our documentation. And then over here within StrongDM, you've set this up with Okta. All right, so then we have our users. Not very many users right now. The whole point of this uh, demo is to get those users synced over. And then here's some of our roles. And you'll notice once you enable provisioning that all the roles you currently have will, or have this little badge that says they're managed by StrongDM. And we'll see that change as we go through this uh, demo. All right, so here, let's first just get started uh, with the assignments. So within the Okta app, if you're not familiar, Assignments is where you can assign people and groups. So first we'll do simple. We'll go over here and we'll assign Barney Gumble. He's gonna be our first one. And you can kind of just leave this form as is, say save and go back and hit done. And there we we've assigned Barney to this application, which will tell uh, Okta to sync it over here. So depending on the refresh rate, sometimes it shows up right away. I'll just do a four sync. There we go, we got Barney. He's in our system. You'll see he's managed by Okta. He currently has no roles. I'll get into that in a second. But Barney also is in a group. So let's go to a group and assign a group. So he's in this contractors group. So we'll assign that again, just leave this form as is, hit save and go back and hit done. So all right, within contractors, I've got another tab here. So we've got contractors group and you'll see there's a uh, four users in there, Barney's in it and a few other people. So we'll see those people come up here in a second. Let's refresh the page. And okay. Contractors, maybe one more second. Hmm. Well, of course, it doesn't always do it in the demo, but we're gonna go over and we talk about push groups because that's where the roles come through. So the next step was really to uh, push the groups over. So, oh, actually the group didn't show up. So that's why it didn't do it. Uh, the contractors did not come through. As you notice, it wasn't there. There we go. Now we see them both there, the contractors, for some reason, it's got a broken icon. That could be an Okta issue. There we go. We got all our users. Let's refresh again. There we go. All right, cool. We got all our people. Again, they have no roles though. So that's the next step. And so your push groups is that assignment of roles. So let me point out here is if you ever have a role within StrongDM that you're not seeing in Okta, hit this little button here and that'll come over to StrongDM and say, hey, what roles do you have? And then you'll see here in the next part where we say push groups, we're gonna search. We're gonna hit C, get going for contractors. And you see right here, it says match found and it's gonna link the group. All right, so we're gonna hit save on that. That is, uh, let's first remove. Hmm, okay, sorry about that. That's <laughs> not what was expected, but let's go see if there's a, a role already over here, no? All right, well, I'm gonna remove this one because that looks broken to me. And then we'll come over to push groups again, and we'll try and do that push group one more time. Now we'll move on to the next one, because I know we have there. It says links is found. We're saving. OK, maybe it's that broken thing that happened earlier. Yeah. All right, so active. Hey, look at that. We all have a bunch of contractors uh, now. And then we can look over here in our roles, and you'll see that the badge has been removed because Okta is now controlling that group. So everyone that we just synced over now has access to the servers that I'll have this tag or whatever resources you have assigned in that role. So that was pretty smooth and easy. All right, so let's go back to the assignments. And again, you're gonna do assignments and then push groups. So here, let's assign uh, another group. Let's take the engineering group. We'll assign them, similar steps, just click on the buttons. So in this, let's go back to our users now. Oh, there it is. Marge just came over because she's an engineer who has that uh, group. But again, she has no roles. So let's come back to the push groups. There it is. We're gonna search again for uh, engineers. There's engineering. But hey, look, we have no match found, right? So in this case, I'm gonna say, you know what? I know that I wanna put them into a group called servers that exists uh, on strong VM. And this says, hey, when you do this, you're gonna rename that group. So let's go look at that real quick. So here's our servers role. We're gonna hit save here. And look at that servers just became engineering. So Marge just got the role and the other people in that same group. And now they have access to what used to be servers, which is two uh, 
SSH servers, okay? So we just provisioned that group, got them all over and renamed it. So that's kind of a cool feature. And then the last one I wanted to kind of show you is that you can also do a group that basically doesn't even exist within strong VM. So you'll see here, we don't have any quality assurance group. We're not gonna link, we're just gonna go ahead and hit save here. And so now that quality assurance group is pushing and we'll refresh on this page. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it will just show up right away. You don't always have to refresh, um, but I was doing it for demo purposes. There it is, quality assurance is a new group. So the only downside of creating a new group is you'll see there's no uh, users in it and there's no access roles. Um, access rules. So that would be something you have to create up, uh, you know, which resources do you want to do after? All right. And actually, because there's no users, because we didn't add the group over here. So we'll go over here to quality assurance, assign it, save and go back and hit done. So there's the understanding of how Okta works. So the assignments create the people and push them over. And the push groups are the actual roles that link to the users. Uh, so we should have Ned Flanders showing up here and he should get the role quality assurance. He likes to check things out. All right. But oh, it's still pushing that too, it looks like. So there is always a performance times that uh, syncing between the applications. Your, your mileage may vary on that. But that is the general overview. There he is. Ned Flanders has got quality assurance now. And how to basically sync your users and your groups between Okta and StrongVM. Yeah.